Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the Wolverine F2D Super Plus Film to Digital Converter. This is a very compact size little unit here, as you can see, and it has a series of trays and inserts to those trays that let you convert uh, 135 millimeter negatives, 135 millimeter slides, 110 negatives, and Super 8 film. Uh, now, as far as the Super 8 film goes, uh, basically it's allowing you to capture a single frame from a movie. It does not convert movies to digital, just to make that clear. This is USB bus powered, so you simply use the provided USB to mini USB cable to connect this to a USB power supply, and they also provide an AC power supply for that. Or you can use it uh, right from your computer port, and uh, it works really well. This is uh, 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, so that can be used internationally as well. So depending on what you're trying to convert, you choose one of these trays or inserts. Uh, they also give you a little wand here, which is used to uh, wipe off the dust off a negative before you insert it into the machine. Now what's really great about this is it doesn't require a computer to use. All it requires is an SD card inserted into the back and it actually even has a TV output so that you can view what you're uh, watching on this little screen on a larger screen. Now the quality of the image that you get on here is not fantastic and once I hook this up I will show you exactly the process. Operation of this is fairly straightforward. First thing you need to do is get your memory card, SD memory card, and put it in with the contacts facing up. And then you turn the power on. And the next thing you need to do is decide what are you going to convert, what type of film. So I've got some uh, 35 millimeter slides here, so I'm going to push OK and I've got slide positive so I've got other choices though I can also choose black and white or color negative so slide positive push OK again and this is where you select what you've got so this is super 8 uh, this is what is that 110 and then I'm gonna choose 135 so then you put in the appropriate slide holder and you get the slide that you want and you just put it in. Now you don't even have to really uh, worry about the orientation of the slide because once you get the slide in there you are able to flip it left to right or up top to bottom. So even if you get the slide in incorrectly you are able to convert it. So once you get the slide in there you just push OK enter uh, then you get the option here to change the exposure value and the red, green, and blue color. And if everything is good there, you just click OK. And then we push Convert. And it says Save. You push OK again. And now it saves it to memory. Now you can see it only takes about 10 seconds to do that. When you're ready for your next slide, you just push it in. Use the third slide to get it into the exact position you need and then you just go through again. If everything looks good you can just push convert and then OK and it saves it. So it's a pretty efficient process for getting a lot of slides done quickly. Now I can also do um, 35 millimeter negatives. So I just open the tray like this. I get my negative, lay it in the tray, So now I have my negative in the tray like this, and then I just insert it in here. Now you'll notice everything is reversed because this is a negative is not a positive. Uh, first the slide was positive. We have to change the convert mode on this. So we go to the film type, click OK. Uh, now we have to go to color negative and hit OK and then we have to choose 135 and here we go. So we go through that whole process if you want to change the colors or the uh, exposure you can go into that menu mode make your appropriate changes here but if you're ready to go then you just push the convert button once again and it saves it. And then to get to the next slide you just slowly push it through 
and you get to whatever you want on that on that slide reel. So this works really quickly, pretty easily. Uh, overall, I have to give it a, an A just because it's so convenient and it's a great way to get through a lot of slides or negatives or even Super 8 relatively quickly and save them. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.